Hello friends, my name is Amulu Jagri and you are watching me on my YouTube channel and today we are going to discuss about techniques of testing part 2 that is white box testing. So what is white box testing? White box testing is also known as clear box testing, glass box testing, transparent box testing and structural testing it is a testing technique which evaluates the code and internal structure of a program with syntax, statements, etc. The term white box was used because of the see-through box concept. The clear box or white box name symbolize the ability to see through the software's, the software's outer shell or box its, into its inner workings. White box testing technique is used by both developers as well as testers. It helps them to understand which line of the code is actually executed and which is not. This may indicate that there is either missing logic or typo which eventually can lead to some negative consequences. For example, a tester or usually a developer as well studies the implementation code of a certain field on web page or a software and determines all legal, valid and invalid and illegal inputs and verifies the outputs against the expected outcomes which is also determined by studying the implementation code. White box testing is like the work of mechanic who examines the engine to see why car is not moving. Now types of white box testing statement coverage, branch coverage, cyclomatic complexity. Now let's see statement coverage. The statement coverage is also known as the line coverage or segment coverage which involves the execution of all the statements at least once in the source code. To find statement coverage, find out the minimum path that covers all the nodes. Now let's take an example. So this is a simple pseudocode. Uh, once you got this pseudocode, uh, you must draw the flowchart of it. So I have drawn a flowchart of it. So start, read A, read B. If A is greater than B, then A is greater than B. Otherwise, stop. Now let's see how many paths are there to cover all the nodes. There is exactly one path and this corresponding path is covering all the nodes. So the statement coverage is 1. Now next is branch coverage. To calculate branch coverage one has to find out minimum number of path which will ensure that all edges are covered. In this case there is no single path which will ensure coverage of all the edges at once. The aim is to cover all possible true false decisions. In short, minimum number of path those cover all the true false edges is nothing but the branch coverage. Now in the same example, uh, though this path covers all the nodes, it doesn't cover all the true false edges. So in order to cover another edge, we have another path. So in this particular example, branch coverage is 2. Now what is cyclomatic complexity? Cyclomatic complexity is a source code complexity measurement that is being correlated to the number of coding errors. It is calculated by developing a control flow graph of the code that measures the number of linearly independent paths through the program model. Lower the program's cyclomatic complexity, lower the risk of uh, lower the risk to modify and Easier to understand, it can be represented using below formula. Cyclomatic complexity is equal to E minus N plus 2 into P, where E is the number of edges in the flow graph, N is the number of nodes in the flow graph, and P is the number of nodes that have exit points. So consider this example. Uh, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 nodes and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six and seven edges and there is one exit point so accordingly the cyclomatic complexity is calculated using the control flow diagram that shows seven nodes and eight edges hence the cyclomatic complexity is 8 minus 7 plus 2 into 1 is equal to 3. So this was all about the white box testing. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. Search for my channel Amol Ujagre on YouTube. To subscribe, please click on this subscribe button and nearby the bell button to, uh, to get you the notifications. Please click on the send me all notifications so that once I upload a new video you will get the notification. If you are using uh, YouTube on mobile then search for my channel Amol Ujagre on YouTube mobile. To subscribe here there is a subscribe button please click on it. Please also click on the bell button to get the notification.